He had two words. Kill them! What is that for you? It's against you. What is against you is your fucking enemy. And you need to kill it. Your fears, your doubts, your lack of confidence, your lack of belief in a destiny, a certain absolute destiny. You have to do something unique and great on this planet while you are here. And the power of the warrior crosses all the international boundaries when it comes to seeking out challenges and finding those warriors that have stayed true to the passion of the one and only. For you, I know who have questioned whether or not the warrior and believe in the rumors that have surfaced over the last two and a half years, take a good hard look at the man who has done it all, who has answered every challenge, answered every conquest, done everything there is in the world of professional wrestling. That's why, my friends, I am here. Classical philosophers of old said this about the battlefield. They said out of every hundred men, ten of them should not even be there. Eighty of them are just targets. Nine of them are the real fighters. Thank you for nine. Not the one. A lot of discussion out there right now about fairness. What is fair? Let the warrior man tell you what he thinks. And for many of you, this injection is going to burn. Burn, baby, burn. Some of you are even going to taste it in the back of your throat. Fairness is not taking from those who do and giving it to those who don't. Entitlements are the antithesis to responsibility. Why any sane human being would want to depend on the handouts from others is beyond me. It's about you being great in your life. It's not about me putting Ultimate Warrior or my career in sports entertainment up on a fucking pedestal and saying, look how great I am. It's about making you realize how great you can be and you doing the things you need to do to make that happen. The day's over. I'm gonna get some exercise, do my body some good, kill some weights, feel my heartbeat, listen to my breathing for a while. But tomorrow the fight starts again. It starts anew every day. If you wanna succeed in life, if you really believe that you have a destiny to fulfill, and your goal is to fulfill it, then every day you get up, step by step, brick by brick, you build it. Punch by punch, you take your life back from Mr. Resistance. I had a guy write me today and said that he felt Mr. Resistance breathing down his neck like a fiery hell. 
and he beat it back with a baseball bat. Well, here's my advice. Train your fucking forearms extra, extra hard. Because tomorrow, before you even open your eyes, Mr. Resistance is going to be right, hanging out right over you, breathing down your neck again. And he's going to be nastier than he was today. You're going to need the power in your forearms to keep a stiff grip on that baseball bat. And fuck swinging for the fences. Swing for the deepest, darkest recesses of hell and knock resistance back where it fucking belongs. You came here with the tools and the instincts to control your life. It's time for you to quit putting the responsibility off. It's time for you to step up and do the work and do the job. Tomorrow is not just another day in your life. It's the next day in an it does matter life. This world owes you jack shit. Nothing. Nobody owes you anything. And the sooner you get that straight in your head, the better off your life will be. If the first thought you have in the morning is can't, then you damn sure won't. And if you won't, you own it. You own that fucking mess. Nobody else does. It's your life. It's your choice. Use it or waste it. Get up off your ass. Do the work. Do your work. Make something happen with your life. Your heart is beating in rhythm with the tick-tock of time. And time always runs into the future. It never runs back. The face of time always goes forward. You have within you, right now, everything you need to live a great life. The tools lie within. Quit looking outside of yourself. Quit looking for someone else's hand to hold. Take your fingers and clinch it into a fist and go out there and start pounding your own unique path in life. Start kicking your own ass. And then go out there and conquer a chunk of the fucking world that's got your name written all over it. Rule or be ruled. Warrior man. Sleeping beauties. It's another day in the life where you have a choice. Will you love it or will you hate it? As you sit on the edge of your bed, before you plant your feet on the sacred ground of an earth you have been honored to live upon. Will you sit there with your head and shoulders slumped, your chest caved in, sit there like a bag of shit? Or will you sit with your chin thrust out, ready to take the first full blow from the ugly genius fucking reaper? Will you sit there with your chest stuck out, full of fury and intensity to take on any challenge that lies in this day? There are two doors, and there are thundering knocks at each one. Behind one lies your destiny, the greatness that you came here to fulfill in your life. Behind the other, Life's death. The critics, the naysayers, the soldiers of Mr. R. They bitch one and complain. They warn warrior men. Tone down the intensity. We don't want you to have a heart attack. Life is not worth living without passion, without intensity. Warrior men, what's your passion? My passion is fucking passion. Intensity for life, whatever you do. Stonewall Jackson talking about what his idea was 
when he was confronted by the enemy, he had two words, KILL THEM! What is not for you is against you. What is against you is your fucking enemy, and you need to kill it. Your fears, your doubts, your lack of confidence, your lack of belief in a destiny, a certain, absolute destiny. You have to do something unique and quick on this planet while you are here. Anything that stands in the way of that, any mystery resistance, no matter the stature of that motherfucker, you need to kill him. The weekend is a time to go to work on becoming comfortable with killing. The experts, the gurus in health and fitness, they will tell you that rest and recovery, eight to 10 hours sleep a night is what you need. Let me do something different. Let me speak blunt with you. None of those fucking triple chin, pudgy belly, pasty faced motherfuckers can groom the groin hairs on a warrior. Rest and recovery for a warrior is to go to work, to build, to recharge the body, mind, and soul. You're lost. You don't know where to start. You don't know what to do. Here's one of my strategies. When it gets dark, go out and walk all fucking night hunting for yourself. Crazy, right? Silly ass idea. Fucking madman that warrior is. Nobody else would ever do that. And that's why they call all those others nobodies. Be somebody in your fucking life. Warriors use their time. They don't waste it. This weekend, walk until you find yourself. Find who you are supposed to be. Because believe me, when the doctor says so, he means it.